Hello and welcome. My name is Margie Urban and I am a infectious disease physician at the University of Rochester and I am here at the New York State Sexual Health Annual Conference uh, for the Clinical Education Initiative. Uh, joining me is Daniela DeMarco, who is also uh, an infectious disease physician at the University of Rochester and the principal author of the recently uh, released Mycoplasma Genitalium Guidelines for the New York State AIDS Institute. So welcome, Daniela. Thanks, Margie. Feels like I haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's right. So uh, we've been doing these just brief um, perspectives from the authors about the, all the various guidelines and guidances that have come out for the, from the New York State Clinical Guidelines Program related to sexual health. And uh, mycoplasma genitalium was, was one of those. So can you tell us a little bit about um, what was the impetus to, to update that document? Yeah, um, so there was uh, the original document with guidance that came out a couple of years ago. Um, and at that time, the um, CDC guidelines hadn't really included some of the information for uh, treatment from the more recently published literature and what was being done in other countries. Um, so this year we published an updated version to be concordant with the new version of the CDC guidelines that came out in 2021 that included recommendations um, for treatment um, based on some of the more recent literature, including um, two-step therapy. So, so what is two-step therapy? Yeah, so um, two-step therapy refers to um, the resistance-guided uh, treatment which was originally kind of looked into uh, in Australia, but essentially refers to treating first with doxycycline and then with moxifloxacin with the idea that the doxy um, reduces the bacterial burden and helps to make that second antibiotic more effective in clearing the infection. So that's, um, that's a bit unusual in, in infectious diseases, not something we typically do. And we don't think of doxycycline as being very active against uh, mycoplasma genitalium. So maybe a, a bit of a heavy lift to get people to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, certainly. And it seems like there's um, not just for mycoplasma genitalium, but even for some other infections, a move away from um, single directly observed therapy for treatment. Um, so this is sort of being added to the list of those things where we're looking at multi-day, but here we're looking at multiple antibiotics as well. So um, I know, uh, so just for full disclosure, you and I are both authors on, on this yeah. guideline, but, but you really did a, a very, very extensive uh, literature review of this area that was considered an emerging infection um, in the last iteration of the CDC guidelines in 2015, and now I guess is, is fully emerged as a, as a significant pathogen. So the literature seems pretty extensive. Yes, there's a lot of literature out there. There's more, um, I think, on the way. But when you compare it to what's out there for gonorrhea and chlamydia, there's certainly not as much. Um, there's more so um, publications on associations between mycoplasma genitalium and things like urethritis, cervicitis, and um, uh, some on pelvic inflammatory disease. We don't know a lot about this infection still. Um, so even though it's emerged, our, our knowledge is still a little bit limited and the literature continues to evolve. Um, so certainly more to come on that. And I'm sure that the treatment guidelines and what we understand about the clinical presentation will change as the body of literature evolves on that. Okay, great. Well, what would you tell anybody listening to this who, who actually doesn't go to read the guidelines? Is there any other message other than uh, two-step therapy? Yep, so uh, number one is two-step therapy, and number two, um, don't screen asymptomatic individuals. So um, we don't really have a clear benefit of that at this point, so just testing people who are um, symptomatic and not screening asymptomatic people. All right, well, that sounds like a, a good place to end. So thank you for your work and putting these together, and it sounds like it's an evolving literature, so probably there will be another update in <laughs> another two years or so um, that we can anticipate. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.